Now I'll show you the basic button combinations to control this drone. It's important to understand that you don't turn on the control before you turn on the drone. Otherwise you will not be able to connect the control with the drone. So first of all you turn on the drone. And then you will turn on the control. And now the signal will be blinking like this you have to push this stick up and down. Now you see that the button is not blinking, it's ready to go. Also, if you need to recalibrate the drone, you have to do this movement. You see it's blinking again, and it starts blinking. So now it recalibrated itself. When I bought this drone, it was going left and right it was drifting a lot and uh, as i was new to it i couldn't really calibrate it myself this combination this way helped a lot to stabilize this drone so it really works the next next thing you can do is to to run the drone yourself uh, the manual says you can use the uh, buttons up and down to take off and to land but if you're new i I uh, would recommend you not to do that because it may fly up very quickly and as you're not familiar with the controls you may not be able to control the drone well. So what I would do is just to turn the drone on by this movement like this and it works and to turn it off like this and now you can control how to take off but if you do it with this button it will fly up very quickly and you may not be able to control it. When you try to fly this drone, you see now it's in position, which is looking that way. It's important that when you start flying this thing, it should be heading uh, from you this way. So the front should be that way and should be looking at you with its rear part. That way you will be able to control it correctly because this stick goes forward, goes backwards, goes right, goes left but as soon as you uh, change the position of the drone by this joystick which will turn uh, right and left uh, around an axis this stick then you will not be able to control it because you're in a beginner you need to always keep uh, the drone in the correct position like this when you start it so here again i put this drone this way Heading out from me, turn on the drone, fly it up. You see, I can control it now. Two with me, right, left, backwards, forward. Only with this. And it works perfectly well, the stick. Now let's talk about calibration. Whenever you turn this drone on, you have to always calibrate it if you need to do that. If you don't mind, you can play with it without calibration, but it will be drifting to different sides. So how do we do that? We have these buttons to calibrate right, left, and then uh, backwards and forward. Only with one push. We don't keep it pushed, just one push and push many times as soon as you see that it gets uh, uh, stabilized in the in the air. So you see it's drifting a little bit. So if I push it here, it will go back. It's still drifting. So I push it here and one more time, and it's almost okay because of the different heights. It may have it may be drifting differently so so this way you stabilize with these buttons stabilize it you see it stabilized a little bit but it's still drifting it's not going to be perfect anytime also depends on wind on height so you just better control it with all joysticks. 
And now let's talk about headless mode. If you are new and want to understand how this thing moves, you can start with headless mode, which means that uh, the net drone will be reacting to your stick in whatever position it's going to be. Like if you push it uh, right, even if it turns right and left, it will always go right. Left, always go left. But it means that you will have to be in a stable position. And uh, before you start this mode, you need to have drone again heading outside in this position, looking at you with the rear part. And from that point, the uh, control unit in the drone will be calculating the position of the drone to react accordingly. And to do that, you turn it on by pressing this button here. And you see it started blinking. It's blinking like a helicopter in real life, right? So that's the headless mode. So let's turn it on. Let's fly it up. And now see my joystick. Even if I turn it, it's always going this position, although it's looking now at me, it still goes this way. It's easy to control, for example, if you want to do photos. Or take videos, you need to have more control over the drone, so you can use headless mode. And in the end, I would like to mention that there are the working buttons here. Uh, this one is headless mode, push once, one push. Turn over the engines whenever, wherever the drone is, push and keep it pushed and it will react in two or three seconds. This button will be for more professional use again. It's like first, second and third speed level. Uh, when there's wind, you need to put it in a higher speed to be able to resist the wind. Uh, the downside of this control is that when you switch the uh, speed levels, there's no indicator at which level you are. It only makes sound, two beeps and three beeps for higher speed. Also to mention that uh, the antennas are uh, like they're just there for imitation. You don't need them actually. They have no function. And another thing is when you bump into the walls, the battery may slide out a little bit and the drone may not turn on. You just need to put the battery inside again. If you connect this drone to your phone uh, and remove the SD card, you can uh, record a video on your phone. But if you insert an SD card, it will automatically start recording to the uh, SD card in the highest resolution. And just to keep in mind, uh, the recording is controlled through the phone anyways. Even, you have, even if you have an SD card or not, you will have to connect to the phone application and push the record button. And then it will record to either your phone if you don't insert an SD card into the drone or to SD card if you put it in. That's a pretty stable drone, nice drone. When you get used to it, you're gonna have a lot of fun.